Hey, 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 everybody. It's your friend Keith here again at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. And I've got another Zach Wilde buzzsaw, Les Paul Custom, to show you today. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, joining the family here. We always want more friends. We love it. Click like on the video, leave some comments, and uh, yeah, you're going to learn a lot and see a lot of cool, rare guitars. So here is a very late 2010 Korean model. It has the Mother of Pearl diamond logo, Mother of Pearl Epiphone logo, and then acrylic block inlays on a rosewood fretboard with white binding. You've got the EMG HZ or HZ passive pickups, beautiful orange spiral graphic, acrylic speed knobs, and uh, nice multi-ply multi binding all the way around the body, front and back. We're doing a video here to show you just what these look like in person. You can see little differences over the years from back in, I think, 02 when they first started doing the Zach Wild models all the way up. You know, here's a 2010 Korean one. Randy's standing patiently there in the corner waiting for me to finish, but you're going to be part of the video, babe. The hardware on this is excellent. I mean, there's no wear. Look at the stop tail piece. There's your bridge. Awesome. The lighting goes a little bit. That's what it really looks like. It's a nice dark orange. Um, as far as uh, damage on this one, there's a few there's a few little marks over here, just to show you there. And then let me show you the back. Let's take a look at the headstock. So yeah, very late. Um, actually, I didn't realize they were still making them in Korea this late. I thought they were, I thought everything was moved over to China, but clearly not the case. So you've got the blurry, blotchy three circles on the logo. You've got the limited edition custom shop Epiphone logo there. Made in Korea sticker, that's exactly where it belongs. And then a dead giveaway that it's a Korean model is you've got the premium, the nice scarf joint on the neck construction with the... Chinese models, it's all, it's a, it's a one piece up to here at least. And I think they do a, some sort of a little more crude join up there underneath the painted part. You've got the block heel support. If this will just focus, focus, phone. There we go. A little bit hard to see there. Good piece of wood. Yeah, and the back looks great. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, buckle rash or anything here. A little ding right there. It's got some fingerprints, and then a little uh, boo boo right there. But overall, this thing is stunning. The paint is very glossy. I mean, you can see the reflection of the kitchen up there, right there. So, yeah, it's very nice, guys. Tuners look great too. You've got these beautiful, genuine Grover chrome tuners that aren't all pitted and tarnished. And that's it, guys. Cool. Well, I'm going to get going. I've got so many videos to do for you today. I probably have about 10 I'm going to try and get to. So we're going to keep this short and sweet. If you've got any questions, just leave some comments or hit us up on Facebook, Essex Recording Studios on Facebook. And if you want to buy this guitar, it's on EssexRecordingStudios.com. That's E-S-S-E-X, Essex, recordingstudios.com. That site's hosted by our good friends, Reverb.com. So you can also see this guitar along with its sister. We've got another one, rare, rare occasion where we have two orange buzz saws at the same time. But uh, both of them are up on Reverb. And we also have the Gibson buzz saw, the BFG, where it's the natural uh, maple top with the buzz saw pattern that's signed by Zach. That's up on the site too. So check out the videos on the channel. You can see them there. Check out the listings on Reverb and on our website. And other than that, stay on YouTube. You'll see another video from us coming right up. Bye, guys.